we already know that scary games are infinitely better in VR, but when you add in the claustrophobia-inducing tension of an escape-the-room-style puzzle game, you get something truly magical. After exploring every corner and hopelessly pondering all the seemingly inadequate clues, the realization sets in that you are indeed stuck in this potentially dangerous room for the foreseeable future. And before you know it, the air suddenly gets heavy, you start to sweat, and the walls feel like they're closing in. This is what immersion really feels like, and it's also why I loved 18 floors from beginning to end, and when it was all over, it left me wanting so much more. Most if not all the puzzle solutions here are obvious, or let me rephrase that, most of them should be obvious, but in 18 floors it's really, really easy to overthink things. You'll be pulling out notebook paper to find the square root of something or another, and the whole time the answer will be staring you right in the face. If you're more observant than I am, you'll probably progress through the game pretty quickly, but it took me around 4 hours of trial and error to complete both puzzle rooms. And yes, there are 18 buttons in the level select elevator, but currently only 1 and 2 bring you anywhere, and 3 just says, to be continued. The developers are promising more content soon, but no release date or pricing structure has been announced. Unfortunately, teleportation and click turning with the required dual move controllers kill a bit of the immersion, but for the most part it controls pretty well. Some smaller dials are a little finicky, and objects you're carrying don't always travel with you the way they're supposed to. I was even forced to restart the game once after losing track of a key item that hit the floor and then just disappeared. Luckily, I was too busy soaking in the realistic graphics, tense music, and creepy sound effects to hold the game too accountable for its shortcomings. I loved the dark tone of 18 floors. The haunting, foreboding ambiance kept me on edge, but not knowing if I'd have the puzzle-solving acumen to keep moving forward made me constantly wonder if I'd be trapped here for just a few minutes, a few hours, or worst case scenario, forever. But ultimately, all the puzzles were really well designed, and all the solutions, in retrospect at least, felt fair. 18 levels was $15 well spent, and I'll definitely be buying the future DLC as it becomes available. I just hope it'll match the quality and polish the first two floors.